It's me! Ooh, am I happy to see you, Harry the Handsome Butcher. What can I do for you? I'd like to try the most wonderful, perfect cut of meat you have. Coming right up! So, uh, wanna go out sometime? It's me! Ah! Harry the Handsome Butcher! It's me! Damn it, Harry! We lost half a star yesterday after your little incident! Now we're down to one! This used to be a respectable establishment and you've ruined it! You're fired! What? Fired? That's right! Now get out of my face! Maybe you should get out of your face! <sighs> How will I ever get a job in this economy? Oh, there's one! Hello there! I'm Harry the Handsome... Well, nothing right now. I'd like a job at this... Post Riper Retoop Mark? Okay, do you have a resume? Nope! What's the pay like, huh? Does it pay handsomely? It pays minimum wage. Perfect! Okay, I guess you're hired. Hooray! Hello? Can somebody help me? And here's your first job. Hello there, my dear man. I'll fix your problem in a jiffy. They don't call me handsome for nothing. Well, handsome, my computer won't work. I've tried everything. Hmm, well, let's try this. All working now. You're fired, Harry. In that case, I'll be on my way. All right, is this him? No, no, he had no face. Like this? Oh, God, that's him! That is one sexy butcher. Don't worry, Mr. Manager, we'll nail this hairy guy. Whoever he is. Harry the Handsome Butcher! It's me! Harry the Handsome Butcher! Part 3! Sigh. Fired twice in the same day. How will old Harry ever find a job now? Wanted, eh? Harry the Handsome Butcher? That's me! All right, men, listen up. It's been an entire afternoon and Harry the Handsome Butcher is still at large. Get out there and do your goddamn job. Did you say job? Because I'm looking for one. Hey, is that Bill Gates? Sir, it's Fatty Bones Malone. Notorious drug lord? Yeah, he's back on the streets, and he's peddling that sweet-ass crystal meth of his. The children! What do we do? We need to infiltrate his organization. We need someone who can blend in, disappear into the crowd. Someone without a face. Ah. I just can't get rid of this grime. Did you say grime? Yes. I'll make short work of that grime, for my name isn't Sengar Clean Fist. And it is. Hey, what the hell, man? Pretty clean if I do say so myself. And I do. <laughs> ah, 
If only complaining about how difficult washing this car is would yield some immediately easier alternative. Did you say grime? No. You're welcome! Screw you, you dumb bitch! I want a dessert and I want it now! That's no way to speak to your mother, young man. It's time to wash that dirty mouth of yours. Thank you, Senior Clean Fist! He's clean. So, you going to the next party on Saturday? Yeah, I don't know, man. The last time I fell asleep at... Ah, oh, jeez, here comes fart in a jar Martin. Aw, oh, come on, guys! It was one time and it was back in fourth grade! See? Ah! Oh, then why do you keep bringing the jar? Because I have to prove to you guys that it only happened the one time! But everyone keeps calling me fart in a jar Martin! Look, the only reason people call you Fart in a Jar Martin is because you're always carrying around a Fart in a Jar Martin. Ugh, Fart in a Jar Martin. It was one time in the fourth grade! We didn't even go to your elementary school, Martin. We would never have even known except that on the first day of freshman year, you told us that story and pulled out a five-year-old Fart in a Jar. If we didn't bring it up tomorrow, we'd never talk about it again. Oh, jeez, it was one time. <sighs> I lied. from the West Side Bridge, where an ongoing hostage situation shows no signs of coming to an end. Stay back! Everybody stay back or she gets it! Huh? Mind if I drip in? Shark Rad? Oh, no! Yeah, get him, Shark Rad! You're the coolest! Where the hell did you come from? I smelled your criminal blood from up to two miles away! Well, smell this! Looks like you came for a shootout! <laughs> but you're about to be... Shootout! <laughs> you're Finn-ish! Thank you, Sharkrad! You're welcome! Sharkrad, you saved the day again. Do you have anything to say for your fans out there? Always do the right thing! And don't forget to do your homework! <laughs> and off Sharkrad goes once again to resume his secret identity, which to this day, nobody knows. Hello there, Billy. Oh, God, go away, Dad. I'm watching TV. Have you done your homework yet? Hell no. I'm just watching Shark Rad kick butt. Did he have anything to say? Maybe about homework? He said, you're finished. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> 
Bam! Pow! Bang! It's time for bed, Billy. Did you finish your homework? <laughs> uh, get bent, Dad. Sounds like you need a chewy goat. Ow! Oh, you, you broke him. <sighs> Whatever. I know I'm gonna get more at my birthday tomorrow. Cause, would you just go already? Get out of here. <sighs> Good night, son. Wait. Birthday. Who wants cupcakes? Ah, uh, nobody, Dad. This is a boy's party. Oh, uh, right. You're so lame. You better have gotten me a new shark rad toy. <laughs> I got you something a little better than an action figure. <laughs> I love cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, kids! Shark Rat! Which one of you is Billy? Is it you? Uh, uh, I'm Billy. Your dad told me to stop by and personally wish you a happy birthday. Whoa! My dad knows you? But he sucks! I happen to think your dad's one of the coolest dads I've ever met. Sure you're at the right house, Shark Rad? Billy, I don't just know your dad. I am your dad. Shark Rad is my... is my dad? Shark Rad sucks! You suck! What a lame ass! Even the name is stupid! Shark Rad! God damn it! I can't believe I liked that guy! What a dumb superhero! Thanks, Dad! One more thing you've taken away from me! What a shit birthday! Hey everyone, look who Shark Rad is! <laughs> <laughs> what a loser! So this is it. Off to our new home behind bars. Are you nervous? You know about the cellmates? And the showers? And the- Nah, nah. I'm not nervous. I have a plan. A plan, huh? That's right, alright. First thing I'm gonna do is find the biggest, meanest looking guy there and beat him up real good. Before you know it- BLAMMY! Instant respect! Pipe down! Both of you! I just beat up Big Hug Bill! But, but Big Hug Bill's the nicest guy in the prison! Let's beat and rape him! Ah, <laughs> <sighs> another job well done, Bill. Wait a minute. Invisible paint? Oh, that spooky paint salesman ripped me off! Ah, oh, and now it's all over my clothes! And I can't afford new clothes because I spent all my money on paint! Hmm... <laughs> Stealing is without consequence now that I am invisible. Or should I say, invisible? <laughs> but of course, the doors won't open for that which they cannot see. That being me, invisible. Wait, that's not a ghost. It's invisible. Shoot between the bags. <laughs> oh, my invisibles. <laughs> Get in there. <sighs> oh, sweet, bottom bunk. Oh, oh sweet, top bunk. <laughs> hey, 
lady. <laughs> Have a seat. Thanks for inviting me over, Martin. And thanks for all the help in calculus. Oh, no, no problem. Uh, so you want to watch a movie or? What the hell is that? Oh, this? Well, it's a long story. Back in fourth grade. No, the guitar. I didn't know you were a musician, Martin. That's really cool. Huh? Oh, yeah, thanks. But way back in fourth grade, I farted in this jar, and ever since then, everyone's been calling me Fart in a Jar Martin. Even though I only did it the one time. Wow, that's really brave of you, Martin. To be so honest about something like that, even though it only happened one time so long ago. Yep, so no farting in jars anymore. See? I have something to confess to, Martin. When I was in third grade, I queefed in a can at summer camp, and then everyone started calling me Queef in a Can Ann. And it only happened two times, and then I stopped, I swear. I just... I thought you should know. Ew! Martin, I, I thought you would understand... Because you farted in a jar. I mean, one time I can understand, but to do it more than once? What is wrong with you? I mean, it was only twice, Martin, and it was so long ago. And you just bring that up to anyone? We just met. This is our first date. Martin, please. Get the hell out of here, queef in a can, Anne. And to think I was going to let you sleep with me. You're a jerk. Fart in a jar, Martin! It was one time! Ted Bear was a remarkable man. His survival show taught us more than how to survive. It taught us how to live. Ted was truly larger than life, and he will forever be... There we go. Now, the trick to surviving your own death is to simply not die in the first place, but rather create a soft, fatty cocoon around yourself. That's the difference between Ted Bear and Dead Bear. Hello everyone, I'm Ted Bear, and we're going to learn how to survive. Try and keep up! Now, here's the scenario. You've decided to settle down and give city life a try after one too many close calls with bitey bugger lugs in the wild. Whoa! Watch out, mate! But shrimping ain't easy in this Barbie world. Living in civilization, you need some real survival skills up your sleeve. And what better place to look than nature? Now, look at this snake's rattle and how it shakes when threatened. That's why it's called a shaky snake. Fantastic. Now, let's try it ourselves. Excellent. Thanks, Shaky Snake. Where'd you go, little bugger? Ha, brilliant. I bet we can do that too. Sir, do you know what indecent exposure means? 
No, but I've got a fairly decent enclosure. Hey, where'd he go? Hey! Huh? Huh. Ah, look at what we have here. These little guys are called banana slugs. <laughs> Just kidding. There's no such thing as a banana slug. Food animal hybrids. That's a laugh. After these two finish up the beautiful act of sluggy lovemaking, the male will do something absolutely remarkable. He'll eat his own penis. Hi! Uh, well, I guess, uh, look, I don't think this survival tactic has worked. <clears throat> I mean, it's just that, how is this supposed to help me survive in any way? Ah, <clears throat> uh, oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. Uh, hello. I'm Ted Bear, and I'm about to eat my own... My... Can't we just use special effects? I mean, this isn't even a real woman! <clears throat> well, here goes. Take me alive! You're fired. I'm Ted Bear, and I was just doing a bit of surviving over here. Now, the trick to surviving without a home is to wait behind this bowling alley at around 1am. That's when they throw out all the nachos they didn't sell. Ah, just like clockwork. Now, we're gonna go learn how to use library computers to jack- Ted Bear? You're Ted Bear! You're like my hero, man! I, I've watched all of your shows. I, I told all my friends and stuff about you, too. You're like a legend, man! <laughs> Survival. Hey, you! Hi! Didn't see you there. I hope you're surviving as well as I am. I've got a roof over my head, three meals a day. Yeah, life's looking pretty peachy for old Ted. Who the hell are you talking to? I'm Ted Bear, and I'll see you next time. Let's shut the fuck up! Uh, nature! Yeah! I'm straight Barracuda, pug with a new bone thug with a fanny pass slug with the foot. I don't give a fuck Stinger on my tail at 40 foot nuts Cause this is nature I was born to survive I'm Hurricane 10 I'm Category 5 Also known as a dung beetle Running this shit Piss in my river Get a fish up in your dick Oh Yeah Dead bear this motherfucker God damn Gentlemen It brings me no pleasure to say this But I have learned that one of you Has been working as a police informant for the past six years. 
And I believe I know exactly who it is. Reggie! What? No, boss. I didn't. <laughs> Face, my closest, most trusted friend. We've seen each other through many trials and tribulations. You even came to my daughter's wedding on account of the fact that you married her. And yet, I couldn't help but notice that you did not join in on the execution of Reggie. Sorry, boss. I wanted to. It's just that, well, I've been working as a police informant for the last six years. No face! You two-faced rat! Thank you for your outstanding service, Harry the Handsome Hero. Just doing my job. Now back to jail with you, you piece of shit. Dang, fired again. Harry the Handsome Butcher! Part three. Do you swear to tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God? Mm-hmm. You are charged with the stabbing of 13 people. How do you plead, Martin? Actually, people call me Fart in a Jar Martin. Do you want me to call you Fart in a Jar Martin? No! It was one time in fourth grade! Oh! Hmm, that may be, but listen here, Fart in a Jar Martin. Oh. The evidence is completely stacked against you. If only you had a single alibi for the night of December 9th, 2009. Uh, uh, At approximately 11.18. Uh, even something as silly as a second fart in a jar could exonerate you. Can you think of anything? Uh, what's your name, kid? Oh, uh, uh, Martin? No, your prison name. We all got names that sum up our whole things in here. There's No Face Ace, Mr. Clean Fister, Shooty Stevie, even Big Hot Bill. As for me, I'm Toilet Wine Terry. I make the finest toilet wine in the whole prison. I mix it in this here toilet, and I keep it in them there jars. Huh? So what's your name? What do you do? You know, more than once. Over and over and over, of course. <gasps> Don't have a thing yet, huh? Don't sweat it. I'll figure it out. In the meantime, only two rules in this cell. No touching my stuff. And absolutely no farting. Good night. <laughs> Great, you're already all lined up. Well, which one of you is fart in a jar, Martin? You're free to go. <gasps> they caught the real killer. <laughs> Some guy named Stab in the Back Zack. <laughs> Says here to release a Martin. <laughs> this whole thing is farting in multiple jars. <laughs> Come on, guys, somebody's getting released today. Whatever you jar farting freak, Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I lied! Say we make a clean getaway. Okay. 